My Air Jordans cost a hundred with tax. My suede starter's jacket says Raiders on the back. Lemon Anderson is a poet, spoken word artist, and actor. He grew up in poverty in Brooklyn, New York. Orphaned at the age of 15, he got involved in serious crime and spent time in prison. But a series of mentors and a love for hip hop changed his life and he became a powerful artist. Lemon visited Genesis Academy to share his story and to give advice to students on how they can use their writing to express their emotions and share their own stories. What made you decide that you wanted to share this, that you wanted to come here today and talk to these kids? It's my responsibility as an artist. It's a lonely place. Uh, especially with this kind of demographic that we deal with at Genesis Academy. I want those kids to be producers, writers, directors, developers, and not just actors and chasing fame. I want them to be in the room because that's what we're missing in that business. And we're missing that in storytelling. And I want them to believe that they can have other options. Can you kind of go over what it is that you're teaching them today? Uh, what I'm teaching the kids is really like a fast, uh, way of understanding what their American story could sound like. There's a lot of, you know, writing will get you to another place. You know, how they can design their own American story. I think that there's an identity crisis in America and young people think that being from these small towns or small cities is not as cool as being from Chicago or New York. And our job is to come in as artists and teach them that, that where they're from is important. So that's really what this is about. Is there a theme or a message in most of your work that you think that they can identify with? Yeah, it's subordination for verbal measures to tone of consideration. There's a reason why when DMX says, da -da -da -da, right? Right? We, you see, you laugh because automatically your ear tunes in. Well, it's the um, how voice and rhythm sounds on the ear and how you can tell stories if you have an understanding of voice and rhythm. And it's not just on the ear, but on the page, because even though we read, we listen to the words as we're reading. And I'm not talented. I'm paying attention to the count of the words. Johnny Estrella, one of the students at Genesis, was there to see Lemon speak. What I saw today in that classroom was, I don't know, out of this, kind of, yeah, what is out of this world? Like he said, uh, I like what he said, because geography, history, and economy. Those are some steps right there, like just to tell a story. And he gave us steps and like examples and rhythms and rhymes and he put it in lines and all that. That's what I liked. I felt more confident and um, I'm gonna learn to write more because I'm a poet already. So I'm gonna take my time, that one hour like he said, really and painting. write and just and use his information. Whatever dreams you have, you can get to it not letting your past affect that, you know? Like whatever past that you have, like don't let it affect you on, don't, don't let that stop you on what dream that you have, like you can succeed, you know? One day at a time. The process makes perfect. Reporting for Now 99. This is great. I'm Angie Schuster.